We appreciate you being with us today. Tonight we're going to start with some news breaking out of Columbia tonight where Governor McMaster announced school districts across the state must give parents the power to decide how their child will learn this fall. Our team is across the upstate today. Kimberly Brown in Greenville and Scotty Kays in Spartanburg. We're beginning tonight with George Reed Godfrey in Columbia, who was at that press conference and has more specifics. George Reed. The decision to return to school in the fall is now left in the hands of parents. This after Governor McMaster ordered school districts to come up with a reopening plan that gives parents the option for in-person learning. And when teachers don't put their eyes on students, what happens? Nobody's talking about little Johnny who's not getting nutrition at home, or maybe he's getting abused at home. Child abuse is just one reason South Carolina lawmakers want school districts to strive for in-person learning this fall. 10,000, that's the number that we don't even know where they are, but there's this other number that we don't know. They haven't had any education since March the 16th. But lawmakers also recognize the concerns of parents and educators. We're going to clean the buses. We're going to make sure we change air filters. We're going to put up partitions. We're going to do everything we can to make sure children are safe. Governor Henry McMaster announced Wednesday school districts will have to submit a reopen plan to the State Department of Education by July 17th. That allows parents to choose five day a week in person learning for their child or virtual learning. We cannot restrict learning by forcing students to participate in remote learning when many of our students in rural parts of the state have no access to internet at home to begin with. Governor McMaster is working with the Department of Administration to start spending federal relief money that would pay for Wi-Fi hotspots, cleaning measures and more instructional time. But lawmakers want to make sure parents have an opportunity to make the best decision for their child. Parents and taxpayers of South Carolina are spending nearly $15,000 on average, $15,000 per pupil per year to educate. Now that's putting that's a that's a substantial that's a, a, a very substantial investment by the parents and taxpayers in our school system and right now they're just not getting anything for it. Governor McMaster is pushing for a September 8th start date. This date will allow school districts to implement the changes needed for in-person learning. Live in Columbia, Georgia Godfrey, 7 News. Thank you, George Recopri. And now Mac McMaster has asked Superintendent Molly Spearman to reject any plans that do not give parents a choice for full in-person schooling and virtual learning. Superintendent Spearman issued a response saying that she wants school leaders and assistants with health officials to make those decisions. 